And Charlie, that business owner, certainly not afraid to speak his mind, was extremely candid with us, saying if you voted for Joe Biden, he doesn't want your business, he doesn't want your cash, he doesn't even want you in the store, and is prepared to suffer the consequences as a form of protest. In downtown Elmhurst, there are many signs. A little surprising, I guess. But one put up weeks ago is starting to draw more attention. Did a double take and looked at it. Just find it really, truly appalling. Biden voters keep out. Pretty much that I would like to stay out. <laughs> I cannot go in. But I find that offensive. I find it horrible. I'm a Trump supporter. So if somebody put um, Trump supporters stay out, I wouldn't, you know, find that a very kind thing to put. Why put the sign outside of your business? I don't want them anyway. I don't want them in there and I don't want to have to pretend that they have respect for me. So I'm going to show disrespect for them. This is no joke. You do not want Biden voters in. Don't come in my store. Tell your friends. I don't want you in the store. I don't want you near me. Speaking to us from South Florida, Sean Thompson says he's owned the Elmhurst Cigar House for about six years. But following the hotly contested November presidential election, he decided a sign of protest was appropriate. He or she can put whatever they want on there. Bottom line, this sign is about your freedom of speech. And that's Absolutely. It. There's nothing in any anti-discrimination law, federal, state, or local, that prohibits you from expressing your political beliefs, which is obviously what this uh, store is doing. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller saying the sign, Biden voters keep out, is a form of protected speech for the private business owner. If that's the way the law works, fine, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna support that. No legal consequences, but there could be business consequences. Business consequences, is he doing this to, to en enhance his, his bottom line? Or in the long run, this could really ruin his bottom line. He's saying a pretty risky thing because I think it's probably split down the middle in Elmhurst. I think it would not bode well for the business. Thompson telling us because of COVID shutdowns, he's all too familiar with declining sales and in some cases, no sales at all. So if there's a backlash, he tells us he is definitely ready, adding he'll just simply smoke all the unsold cigars himself. Live in Elmhurst, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jeremy, Jeremy. thank you.